the Umbrella Academy is about superheroes, but also about family. So what was more appealing about your character, this emotional part or the superhero part? Yeah, I mean, I guess first and forma for foremost as an actor, no matter the genre or what, I do just like connect emotionally, you know, see a character and um, something speaks to you or you feel like some you might have something to add. Um, and I think that's to me what makes this show so special is it, it is uh, it does have this whole you know superhero element. It's visually stunning and uh, incredible sequences and what have you. And, and the core of this show to me is just like so um, deep emotionally and all of these characters are and dealing with their own struggles in different ways and yeah that's what that's what made me feel the most excited. And for you what was more difficult of bringing this comic into, uh, into the screen? Um, it, the most difficult part of it was that you know there's comics are not long and I had to do 10 hours of TV so a lot of it was taking um, some of the ideas and having to expand them and do sort of my creative uh, take on it. But also, you know, I wanted to respect the fans who love the series and not change it so dramatically that they're tuned off. So the idea is to have the fans really love it and bring in a whole new group of people who don't know it, who can then subsequently come to love it. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that you would have liked to put on season one and you couldn't? Yeah, there were lots of little things I couldn't do uh, for money and time, but I'm, I'm very happy with what we did in season one. I thought it was the right balance of absurdity and fun and sadness and heart and, and action. I think it was a really good balance. And Ellen, how did you prepare for your character? Did you actually play violin? <laughs> hmm. um, I did not play the violin before, so this was my first time with the uh, with, uh, doing anything with that. Um, it was very difficult, <laughs> but uh, I was lucky to have a really cool teacher and um, did my did my best and um, I mean in terms of preparing it was really predominantly like us all really talking mm -hmm. together we had time before we started shooting the first episode and just talking about the pers you know the, the relationships between everybody and we would talk about Vanya and um, yeah you know, we, you're so wonderful that way not to whatever but Steve's just like the most collaborative wonderful you know, you were just so. That's nice. I don't know. You just really, yeah. Um, inspire people to believe in their own ideas and incorporate. Like I don't know. You just like know how to figure that out. Well, and look on the other side. I mean, I wanted them to sort of bring life to their characters and embody them. So I can only do so much on paper. At the end of the day, you know, Ellen has to bring Vanya to life. So it really was a collaborative process where we sat down and worked on who these people were going to be and how they were going to come to life on the screen. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, well, every uh, Netflix release is like a big deal. So, how do you feel about that? Do you feel any pressure about it? Sure, I get a little bit of pressure. I, I mean, I, I'm very proud of the work we did together, all of us, the crew, cast, uh, all the actors, and uh, I want people to love it. I really do. I think people sit down, they will love it. Uh, there's always the fear of, you know, will they give it a chance? Will they label it and then not look at it? But I think people will come to this, hopefully. And also, crossovers are very common in superhero movies and shows. If you had to choose another superhero universe or character to do a crossover between with the Umbrella Academy, what would you choose? Hmm. You go first if you want that one. <laughs> I don't feel like I just don't know enough or something. Um, I would do the Watchmen. I would do the Watchmen. I think there's there's some similarities there. That'd be a nice odd mix of the Watchmen and the Umbrella Academy. And Ellen. Um, what would you say that is your character's family role? Because I, I would say that Klaus is the uh, black sheep, but what about Vanya? Hmm, huh. like the term for it? Um, what do you think? I think just the outlier, the outsider, yeah. you know? The, the kid is sort of treated different. Yeah. I will still put that, I don't know. Yeah, that was good. And the <laughs> character? <laughs> Hmm? Favorite character besides your character? Huh. Uh, oof. Mm. It's hard. Sorry. No, it's okay. They're look. They're all so good. It's hard. They to really pick one are. Of them. It's hard to like pick I, a I, character that would be my favorite. Yeah, I have the same problem because we worked with all of them. They're so great. I mean, they they all bring something. I mean, Klaus is, brings a lot of fun and humor, but a lot of heart. Diego's sort of, you know, wild and crazy. 
Tom is sort of that innocent man-child. Uh, it's, you know, they're all great. 